Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel and that channel is, in case you happen to have forgotten, it's Deb Chanel's 48th World. Okay, we're here with another exclusive video. We're going to be talking about Kenya Moore. Yes, Kenya Moore. From the Real Housewives of Atlanta and how her divorce filing uh, she wants to have sealed from the public, the general public. That's like people like us, okay? Everyday people. Everyday people that have uh, investigation or investigating companies or PR people or, I, I mean, private op type people or people that have um, social media networking type blogs or blogs to keep everything in the news circulating for the who's who and the people like us everyday folks want to know what the who's who people are doing can you say uh-uh I don't, I don't want nobody in my business they don't need to know my business they don't need to know my true uh accuracy of what i make from the real housewives of atlanta or any other type of business adventures i got going on nobody don't need to know that i just threw that picture in there guys because that was when nene and kenya was having conflict and kenya was not inviting nene to anything but she did invite greg <laughs> i like that damn twirl she's something else but that's a beautiful picture of both of them he's a very handsome man she's a very beautiful woman why they could not get it together and make it work for baby brooklyn and themselves who knows? I've always thought it was a PR stunt. I always thought he was a sperm, a sperm donor in my um, Phaedra Parks voice. Okay. Can't get married. Must go into the sperm bank and get her baby that way. Okay. That was a low blow for Phaedra. But you know, hey, Southern Bell always came with the kickback. Because Kenya always liked to twirl on people and give her kickback. You know. She always said, if you come gun blazing with her she coming back with a oozy and blow you all the way out you know her words not mine i'm just saying but i always thought honey when you have things that work against you remember all things work for good for those who love the lord all things work good together for them that love the lord so whether you're going through your trials and tribulations guess what if the lord lets you go through it he'll pull you through it okay and he will see you through it so we all know kenya had got married or supposedly had gotten married uh still no documentation that i know of has been found to dispute it you know but we just going to get her that because we know when mark did get on this television screen and was host not hosting but filming with her doing some of her segments honey it, it was like uh-uh honey we forgive you for lying to us but you don't need this man if he is your real husband in real life you need to drop him like a bad habit okay no i said smoking is bad for you. you need to kick the habit and move on that's basically what you needed to have done with mark daly okay <sighs> but that's pretty Brooklyn right there. Yes, looking like both her parents, mostly Mark. But you know, hey, she's gonna get her sense of twirl, her style, her dressing from her mother. Her personality, I should say, her over the top personality is gonna be like her mother because her mother's gonna instill that in her. And there's nothing wrong with it, nothing wrong with it. Every child, every grown person, every person that walks of life should have high esteem about themselves because it's gonna be everybody out there in that world. Not everybody, but the majority are going to try to tear you down. So you need to have your own self-esteem about you. Have it high. Have your crown on or your, your, your um, um, well, that's fine. You could be a crown for a man or a woman. Have your crown on, perched on your head. You can tilt it to the side if you're a man. If you're a woman, have it sitting up real anchored straight with your back pulling up and your head and your chin up in the air too. And it, loo and it just eludes confidence, okay? So... Basically, Kenya okay, going through this divorce with this man, okay? This man, okay? Bro Brooklyn daddy, okay? On record, I guess I should say, allegedly. Child, she don't want nobody to know about nothing. You hear me? She don't want nobody to know about nothing. She don't want them to know how much she money she may be giving Mark in a settlement. We don't need to know nothing in what she's saying. And she's trying to protect that right. So she put in a motion with... um the courthouse or for the judge to look at and hopefully grant her her permission that anything that's discussed in those proceedings and the judge ruled on she want to make sure it's signed sealed and delivered and nobody can come and retrieve any of that information because you know you got bloggers out there that's gonna go and put that coin down and um 
see what they could find about Miss Kenya Moore and put it out there for social media. You know, for, you know, clicks, views, whatever. Get your YouTube, plaque, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm like, can you, girl? Just keep it real. You know, if there's nothing to hide, there's nothing to hide. Because, really, when you're selling court documents, to me, that's rich people problems. And I ain't saying you ain't rich, you know. But I don't think you're in that billion-dollar, zillion-dollar category right now. People of wealth, generational wealth, okay? Oasis wealth. Uh, apartheid wealth. Royalty wealth. British wealth. That's what we talking about. Now, you ain't going to see nothing, okay? Because they got the powers to be behind them bagging that they don't want nobody in their right minds or not in their right minds. They don't want calm folk know nothing about their business. Because I'm pretty sure some shady stuff going on for the elites. And they don't want their stuff sealed. I mean, uh, unsealed or recognizable for anybody to go pick it up at any local uh, courthouse. Depending on where they stay in their community or state or county. Okay. So, OK Magazine had it. Radar Online had it. Um... Newsbreak.com had the story, and probably many other uh, blogging, entertainment, news, celebrity news sites. <laughs> but I just got it off of OKMagazine.com. They're a reputable source, resource for celebrity gospel news, okay? And they were just saying, honey, Kenya wasn't having it. Kenya was not having it. She, you know, because, you know, in court of law, you're supposed to tell the truth. So she had to list all her uh, assets from every... Um, business dealing she had it's almost like you know you're going paying your taxes you got to tell the truth or you're supposed to because if you ever get caught up oh the irs be knocking at your door and they'll be ready to take everything honey everything it's everything everything all right but anyway we're going to get into the story molly claire goddard she published it on the 21st of september and she titled it real housewives of atlanta star kenya moore files motions to have proceedings in messy divorce from ex Mark Daly sealed from the public. Okay. She don't want us to know nothing. Kenya Moore wants to ensure the private details of her divorce from her ex husband, Mark Daly, are not made available to the public. I like girl on girl. Because once he get hit that public, wow. Well, you can go and put your coins down there and get all of that information because it's public record. You can pretty much get anything you want. You know. But she's trying to be the who's who category. That's what Kenya's trying to be in the who's who category. Like, no. Mm mm. Either I don't told too many lies about my wealth and my actual net income. And I don't want the world to find out. And I damn sure don't want no bloggers to find out. So I have to be, you know, face to face saying it's not true. It's not true. And it could be true. But I got to put up the brave face. Say it's not true. It's not true. You know, all that kind of stuff. She don't want to go through the house. But I'm like, can you? I'm just going to assume your team was smart enough. Because, you know, you play to win all the time. You, you're kind of competitive. You play to win. So, my thing is, uh, couldn't you have talked to your team prior to even filing a motion that when y'all go to court, y'all have to get all these documents that you need to have the judge to rule on that first? That everything that's presented to him and however he rules that the documents need to be sealed. We don't want the public to know anything about that because you are a personality, a high personality, profile personality in the celebrity reality world. So people know you. And people don't know or really attach themselves to leaning on leaning on your every word that is the gospel truth. So we know, you know, they know that you don't say some things and you don't want those things to come out because you ain't got time to be backtracking. So... That was just my sidebar. Moving on. Uh, it said, in court documents obtained by Radar, the Dancing with the Stars contestant filed a motion asking that the case be sealed and for her financial records only to be shown in court. Now, they could be shown in court. We talked about in court and all this. So, she must have a closed court session as well. So, they must not have a jury going on. They must not have any uh, people in her, um, what do you call it? In her court proceedings, it just may be the judge, the lawyers, and her. So that's what I'm thinking. Because usually you would have a jury. You would have uh, miscellaneous people just out there waiting in the audience to get their case heard. So they have to sit and wait through yours as you know as well. Because it's not a criminal. It's a civil lawsuit. So I think it's civil. Yeah. But anyway, going back to the article, it says more. Moore's legal representation, a representative claimed in the court paper, on the, under the court papers, 
Under normal circumstances, these things would not be otherwise made available to the unknowing public due to the face that such might subject the petition to heighten scrutiny, harassment, and may threaten her safety in as much as she is a public official. Should persons learn her financial status or other specific terms of her life? Okay. With, within the motion, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star states that she is a high-profile celebrity and that her job is 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 the source of heightened interest to the general public i'm like kenya 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 you don't work for the cia baby you're not an agent you're not the president of the united states you're not even a diplomat okay what you say out there which it should have been the truth from the beginning then you would not have to go back and retract stuff, okay? Because it will make you look really foolish if, say, you were telling us you were worth a million, but the actual court documents show you were worth some hundred thousands. So, yeah, that would be a very big discrepancy there. So, eh, I can see why you wouldn't want the public to know. But sometimes, you know, everything that's done in the dark will come to the light. And you have to pay the piper sooner or later. And now it seems like it, everything might be spiraling out of control for you. So the best thing is to get in front of it. Where's your PR team? Where's your PR team? Okay. Because you know there are vipers out there. And they will be out there trying to get every little piece of paper, every little piece of document to show you up. Those are haters. Haters can also be your motivators. So... <sighs> That's just my sidebar going back to the article. Moore also alleges if the information is made widely available, it will then be used to harass her and could potentially make her custody battle with Daly over daughter Brooklyn increasingly difficult. A judge has not made a ruling on the motion as of yet. And you know, just me, I'm like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, can you just still not making a hell of a bit of sense? Because uh, of safety, you shouldn't be threatened. Uh, publicly embarrassed? Maybe. Threatened? I don't think so. And then, I'm pretty sure Mark knows how much, you know, you're worth and this, that, and the third. Because I think it was just a contractual agreement between you two. Okay? He got paid in the deal. He got a sweet baby girl to look at, look after. If anything happened to you. Uh, it's just like a contract. You know, he probably needed the money. You were willing to pay him the money just as long as it came with a baby and a little notoriety of being a real housewife, you know, that type of nature. That's where I'm going with it. That's what I'm visioning in my head. And there's nothing wrong with it because when you pay for something, if you get what you pay for, then there's nothing to be talked about or understood because those are your dollars. That's just what you want to spend your dollars on. And it gave us that, uh, or it gave you that false pretense of a happy, loving family. But it seems like it just blew up all over the all over the web, all of social media. You know, maybe um, Mark, Mark was just getting tired of playing. You know, the the husband scene, and maybe he wanted to get back to his real life. I don't know. And then y'all came up with this quickie quickie uh, divorce, which has been. Damn show drag it on for about four seasons of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And we're all quite tired of it. So it's like, wrap it up, put a fork in it because it's done. Okay. Then the interview or the article uh, that was wrote up by this young lady goes on and says, Okay, previously reported, the formerly married couple split back in September of 2019 after only two years of marriage. Okay. And, you know, we can speculate on that as well. But we just don't want to go into it because it's neither here nor there now. We're talking since 2019. And here we are 2021. And we still got the back and forth, back and forth. And I'm like, why would Mark want anything from you? You already paid him real well, I'm sure. Unless he's looking for some back end money. I don't know. But going back to the article, it said, At the time, the 50-year-old said in a statement to people, it is with profound sadness that I regret to inform my fans that I am divorcing my husband, Mark Daly, due to recent and un ongoing circumstances. I can no longer continue in the marriage. My sole concern and focus is and will always be my daughter, Brooklyn, my miracle baby. She was made in love and true commitment. I ask for our privacy to be respected uh, moving forward. And then Daly entered something to 
to where he was saying he was going to um, sue any bloggers out there that misconstrued or took his words out of contact and made him feel or look any kind of way. But you know, us as bloggers, we wasn't going to listen because we have freedom of speech on our side. And everything we say is allegedly, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like it's not, it's not necessarily true, but then again, it's not necessarily false. So um, didn't nobody really care for Mark after that point as far as blogging people. Uh, people that write commentary for uh, celebrities, uh, either musically inclined or uh, action-packed actors or actresses or reality TV star individuals. So, yeah, um, I don't know what to say about Kenya. I mean, a lot of things, Kenya, will be out of your control. You can't uh, harness everything and try to make it fit or make it work out to your favor. It just is what it is. Honey, just get your divorce if that's what you're seeking. And you can no longer be with this man. Because Lord knows he didn't treat you right the whole time he was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. We were begging you. We were pleading with you ourselves. Get away from that man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you were trying to hold on. Hold on. Mm got to do is hold on yeah i don't know what i'm trying to sing but it was a song in my head and it sounded so good so i thought i would bring it out to you all oh but that's all i have for this video guys i'm not really sure what kenya plans on doing we definitely don't know what the law or the judge is going to rule in as whether he's gonna you know because the reasoning she's got as far as her security her safety uh it's not like i said she's like from generational wealth <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i don't know about that kenya okay because you know what kind of ball and arena you were playing in when you wanted to go to hollywood and make a career out of television you know it has some good points it has some bad points but all things work together for good for those who love the lord you say you love the lord so just let the cookers come and um down to the floor or wherever they may fall and i'm sure you'll be picked back up and you will go forth and be great okay kenya but that's all i have for this video y'all get down in those comments y'all tell me what y'all felt about kenya rushing to the courthouse telling uh the judge or telling her lawyers to put a motion in to where nobody can know the proceedings of her uh divorce uh details especially the, the layman's people like us you know the, the small people the peasants okay she don't want us to know nothing if we're not privy to be in her um company when she's getting these things taken care of in the court of law behind closed doors then that's what she wanted to stay we, we need to be exed out <laughs> i'm like no okay you need to be worried about that man okay because it seems like he just won't give up he wants to get money 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 i mean did you set a limit on this farce of a marriage and how much you was going to pay him girl did you do that if you did he's going to continue to drain you drain you drain you so you're going to have to do something oh you're going to have to do something but anyway that's all i got for this video I ain't got no more if you like it love it and you want to see more of these videos please share like and subscribe to the channel i'll talk to you next time Bye bye